healthcare, taxes, education system, employment. These are the issues that matter most to me. Every right, my right. I'm a part of this community and my vote matters. Are you prepared to vote in the next election? In this series of videos, we will discuss the rights of voters with disabilities in South Carolina. In this video, we will review who is eligible to vote, how to register to vote, and how to prepare to vote. If you would like to learn more about voting, the other videos in this series discuss different ways a person with a disability in South Carolina can choose to vote. The videos also review some of the obstacles a person with a disability might come across when voting. Robert is a husband, father, grandfather, and is retired from the Army. In 2012, Robert was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. One of Robert's favorite hobbies was fishing. Due to the progression of his MS, he started trying new hobbies that he thought might be easier for him. Recently, he started to learn how to cook. After serving his country for 20 years, voting is very important to Robert. He likes to remind people that not only does every single vote count, but that a lot of people have died to protect their right to vote. Unfortunately, Robert and many other people with disabilities run into obstacles when trying to vote. In order to be eligible to vote in the United States, you must be a citizen, be at least 18 years old on or before the election, and you must be a resident of the county and precinct you are registered in. In addition, you must not currently be in prison. If you have been convicted of a felony in the past, you must have completed any parole or probation and payment of any restitution or received a pardon for that conviction. Lastly, you cannot be under a court order declaring you mentally incompetent. Many people with disabilities have guardians. Most people with a guardianship in South Carolina are not declared mentally incompetent and are still eligible to vote. If you are an individual with a guardian or you are a guardian for someone else, Check the guardianship paperwork if you have questions. There are many ways for people to register to vote. Registering is easy and can be done online, fax, or email, in person, or by mail. There are also two kinds of voter registration cards available in South Carolina. If you register by mail or online, you will receive a regular voter registration card. If you go in person, you can request a voter registration card with your picture. This is a great option for someone who does not already have one of the required forms of picture ID needed to vote. To register online, you will need to have a South Carolina identification card or South Carolina driver license. Go to sevotes.org. On the left-hand side of your screen, under Voters, click on Register to Vote and then choose the Online Voter Registration option. Then you will be asked to fill out basic information about yourself to include your name, birthday, and social security number. If you fill out a paper form, you will be asked the same information and then you need to mail it, email it, or fax it to your county voter registration office. When you fill out a paper or in-person voter registration form, you will be asked to show a photo ID, utility statement, bank statement, or government document showing your name and address. However, if you are over the age of 65 or you are a person with a disability and you do not currently have one of these documents, you may check the exempt box. Robert needs to update and replace his card. He is going online to do this but you can also contact your county voter registration office. If you move within the same county, you need to update your card. However, if you move from one county to another county, you will need to fill out a new voter registration form. Once your registration is completed, it is important to be prepared to vote. You can learn about the candidates that are up for election by going to websites or reading local newspapers. Robert likes to prepare to vote by going back to the sevotes.org website and downloading his sample ballot. This helps him determine exactly which candidates are running for office in his precinct. In addition to candidates, the ballot may have questions or issues to vote on, like whether to raise taxes. The website will post a simplified version so that it will be easier to understand. People with disabilities also need to understand the different ways they can vote, the optional voting accommodations they are eligible for, and accessibility challenges they might face. The other videos in this series will review this information for you.